to be honest, James, it's lower than a snake's belly. I mean, I'm absolutely disgusted. And do you know, I've known William Rag a long time. William was a Stockport councillor and I grew up in Stockport, yeah. so I was a union rep. So it's fair to say that me and William have, you know, have been on the opposite sides of the fence for a long time. But the one thing I know about William is he's not somebody that jumps up quickly like that. He's very loyal to his party. He's very loyal to the, the Conservative brand. And for him to say what he said in that public arena shows how upset and angry he is. Because this isn't about just the bullying and the blackmail, but it's a misuse of public money. It's literally saying that they're going to starve funding for, for vital, important resources for constituents in their constituency if they don't hold the party line. That's taxpayers' money. It's disgusting. How could it have happened, do you think? I mean, I, 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 the, the, the sort of broader picture, the step back from these allegations, and of course I must remind my listeners they are just allegations or still allegations at this time, although your insight into William Ragg's background is fascinating. How, can you conceive, you're closer to the action than we are, you see these people who have been accused of these behaviours in um, the workplace, in the working environment. C- can you conceive how that line has been crossed? Because threats and promises are the bread and butter of, of party management, and, and yet it would appear that, that a rather profound line has been has been crossed here. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, we do have situations, you know, I'm a Labour Party member, I have disagreements sometimes in the Labour Party, but never, ever do you go to the, you know, the extreme of if you're in government to say, I'm going to cut vital yeah. resources. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's stuff that's already on the table being taken off the table. And then the added threat of, of public humiliation in, in sycophantic newspapers. I mean, it, 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 it erodes our democracy, James. It's, it's that fundamental because what the Prime Minister's people around him and with his sanctioning is saying is I'm more important than doing your job as a member of parliament. Yes, we are wear political uh, colours. That's that's the way we are. We're elected, but we're elected to represent our constituents. And democracy falls down if we start getting these bullying, blackmail, and threatening behaviours. It just cannot be. It cannot be allowed to continue. You know, it's 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 really doing our democracy down. And I'm pretty certain. You know, I've known William, like I say, a long time. And I know quite a lot of Conservative MPs, and this is going to have the counter effect for them, in my view. And they're going to have to stop it because a line has been crossed and it's completely unacceptable. And most people will see it for what it is. And that it's a bullying tactic. And I've said there should be an investigation into it. But I've also said, and I'll keep saying, that it's within the Conservative MPs' gift now to do something about it. What do you mean by that? Well, they can, you know, they can put the votes and no confidence in right. and they can get rid of Boris Johnson. You know, he, he's lost the confidence of the British public with his actions. He's tried to lie his way out of it. And now he obviously is trying to blackmail and bully his MPs. And this is completely unacceptable. It's wild. It's completely wild stuff. Do you know, 100 years ago at 10 o'clock this morning, uh, I was asking my listeners, my callers, whether or not Boris Johnson staying in post would actually be good for the Labour Party. Um, It feels like an awful lot of water has passed under the bridge since then. But I'll ask you the same question, if I may. It it really isn't, James, because, you know, how many times do you hear people, especially ringing up your show, saying, oh, they're all the same. Yes. They're They're all in the same boat. You know, they're all doing the same thing. And it really isn't the case. And I'll say that in a non partisan way. Because these Conservative MPs, like you saw in the House, you know, David Davis, he's not, I'm not a great friend of his. He got up yesterday and said, you know, this is disgraceful, go. There's people across the House, members of Parliament, that know this has just gone way beyond the realms of, you know, political debate or, or issues or, or problems. This is now a Prime Minister who is not, who, who literally does have to be dragged out of number 10 because he is doing the country a disservice and he's lost the confidence of the people. And now he's bullying MPs. 